Even though war winter is ahead, the Colorado Garden and Home Show helps scratch that itch we have to plan for spring. This year's show is virtual, so you can shop the top home improvement companies in the region and save money. Here's my chat with Jim Fricke, Executive Director of the Colorado Garden Foundation. The Garden Home Show is truly one of my favorites, and to be able to get out there, get that inspiration and advice, I'm with all those who flock to the convention center to see the latest products and services, as well as um, gardens and displays. So how can we get that feeling online or virtually? Well, the, uh, unfortunately, the, the gardens aren't available or possible online. I did bring some flowers from, from Plum Creek Market Center. They grow our flowers every year for the show. They gave me some for for this little hit today, which is great. Beautiful. Um, but online, people are still able to basically attend the show, but virtually. You can go out to the site. You can pick if you're looking for windows or different product categories. You can search for them and find companies that are doing that. Uh, it automatically pulls up information on that company when you roll over their booth. Uh, it's really neat, and, it, and it's an opportunity. We wanted to give our exhibitors an opportunity to still interact with the public, and the public an opportunity to still interact with our exhibitors. And so it's really worked out well. We're pretty excited about it. You should be, and thank goodness we have this platform to be able to, to do it this way. Now, despite the pandemic, there are, of course, popular trends in home improvement right now. So what can you talk to us about a few of those? You know, what's, what's interesting about the, the home improvement business right now is today I'm working at my office Two days a week, I work from home, and and me, like many other people, now that we've been working from home, we're at home a lot more, looking around like, boy, I need this, this, okay. and this. Stuff. And so, a lot of the companies are ready, willing, and able to do that. And and I think so. One of the trends really is home offices, uh, but at the same time, people are looking for the energy efficiency, like they always have, using sustainable products, um, basically making their backyard more of a staycation. Uh, those kind of things are are consistent with how it's been in the past. It's just now I think people are even more looking at things like, boy, if I'm going to be here a lot more, which a lot of us are, then there are more things that I need to do. The Colorado a Garden and Home Show is put on by the Colorado Garden Foundation, of course. So how does this nonprofit help the community? So Colorado Garden Foundation, we own and produce the show. As a result of the show every year, we award approximately $750,000 in horticulture-related scholarships and grants in the state of Colorado. Right. Uh, for instance, we have four kids on four-year full-ride scholarships up at CSU that are in the ag school. In addition to that, we have about 14 other scholarships. And then we award a, a grants across the state, anything from community gardens to greenhouses at schools to horticulture therapy gardens, really across the board. This year, even though we're not having a show, which is how we generate the money that we give away every year, we're still awarding approximately $450,000 out of our reserve fund for those scholarships and for grants. And the grants that we're awarding this year are focusing specifically on being able to help feed people because we know that's the biggest need out there right now in terms of, of uh, um, the horticulture side of things. And so we're not doing as much with schools, but we're doing a lot more with places like Food Bank of the Rockies or community gardens. So it's, it's shifted a little bit, but we're still doing it. That's terrific, really creating a future of sustainability and folks learning how to, to make that part of their everyday culture. Love to hear yeah. that. So booking a home improvement uh, project with a company, well, we could probably see a few delays during COVID, but is there a way to beat the rush with those? Well, I think that the, the one reason the Garden and Home Show was always held in February is because it takes time to plan the projects you're doing at your house. And whether it's windows or siding, or, or landscape project, you need to plan ahead. So if it's something you think you wanna get done either early, late spring, early summer, now is the time to get out there, meet some of those companies and start getting the bidding process working because they're gonna to have to order product. They're gonna to have to design, potentially design if it's a landscape project or a kitchen, you know, design what needs to be done. So there's really a lot that, that, that has to be done in advance. You can't just call a company and let's say a deck company and say, hey, can you come out tomorrow and build me a deck? Right. It doesn't work that way. And because a lot more people are, are doing home improvements, you know, you want to get up in front of the line. And so now's the time to start planning for that instead of waiting until March or April when, when these companies really start getting booked out. So how do we attend and log on to this virtual garden and home show this year? It's as simple as there's not even any logging on. You just go to coloradogardenfoundation.org and you can, you know, it's, it, there's a big bullet that says attend the show. And it takes you to the uh, ExpoCAD 
site, which is what houses our virtual show, and you just get started. Um, it's very easy. It's free. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't cost a thing to go out there and look around. And if you really know what you want to do, you can search by categories or even if you have a company you, you're looking for, you can search for them specifically. Take advantage. Some of them are offering show only specials. Um, they're all in a competitive market right now. So I'd encourage you people to get out there, take a look and find the right company. Shop the free virtual Colorado Garden and Home Show the entire month of February. I am. It's really great. You can learn more online at coloradogardenfoundation.org.